Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Bienvenidos a mi lección. Lesson. Lección. Bienvenidos a mi lección de español. Today, hoy, today, es miércoles, miércoles, el 15 de abril de 2020. Remember that in Español, the days of the week and the months, we do not capitalize unless they are at the beginning of a sentence. Okay? Hoy, today, we are going to talk about several things. First, we will talk about the most spoken languages in the world. Uh, then, we will talk about the countries where their uh, official language is Espanol. Official language means that that's the language that they use to do to, to go in school, uh, at the government, business is the main language of communication. Now, for example, in the US, in the States, there's a lot of people that speak Spanish, but their official language is not Espanol, Espanol it's English. Therefore, the US doesn't count. We will only work on those countries, países, países, país, country, países, countries, uh, on those países where their official language is Espanol. And then last, we will do like a little saying in Espanol that I think you are going to like. Um, let's start with the most spoken languages in the world. Uh, we have first Chinese and it's about a billion people in the world that speak Chinese. Número dos, Español. En Español is about 500 million, 500 millones uh, of people that speak Español. After Español comes English. And English is about 400 million, uh, 400 millones of people that speak English. After English comes uh, Hindu, and Hindu we have about 370 million people that speak uh, Hindu. And then numero cinco, we have Arabic, which is the, the language that they speak in the Middle East, uh, a lot of the Middle Eastern uh, countries. Arabic and Arabic is about 350 uh, million people and then uh, there's many other uh, languages okay uh, having said that numero uno is Chinese numero dos Espanol numero tres English numero cuatro Hindi numero cinco Arabic Okay. Now we will concentrate on all the countries where they speak Espanol. You know how many do we have? Can you guess? Let me see. Le or should say let me hear. There's 21, 21 países, countries, países that speak Espanol. Now we are going to look at the map and we are going to start naming all the países. Uh, 
we will start with Mexico, then Colombia, Colombia, after that España, España means Spain, okay, Spain, Argentina, and after Argentina we have Peru, Peru. Then we will go to Venezuela, Venezuela. After Venezuela, Chile, Chile. Then Ecuador, Ecuador. After Ecuador, Guatemala, Guatemala. We have Cuba, that's how we say it in Espanol, Cuba. And then after Cuba, Bolivia, Bolivia. República Dominicana, another one of the islands in the Caribbean. And then Honduras, notice that I don't say Honduras, I say Honduras. Honduras and we will find it in Central America. Um, Paraguay, Paraguay, and El Salvador, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica, Costa Rica, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Panamá, Panamá. After Panamá, we have Uruguay, Uruguay, and last, Guinea Equatorial in Africa. Okay? okay? Now that we know that we have 21 países that speak Spanish as their official language, I'm going to review a couple of different ways on how to remember them all, because there's a 21. Now, one way would be uh, where they are. We can start with North America, with Mexico, un país, uno. Then we go to Central America. In Central America, there's seis, and we have Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, y Panama. Then we move to South America, and in South America, there's nueve. Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Paraguay, Peru, Uruguay, Venezuela. Then we go to the islands in the Caribbean, uh, in the Caribbean area, and we have Cuba, we have tres, Cuba, Puerto Rico y República Dominicana. After that, we go to Europe. Uno, España, Spain. And last, we go to Africa. Uno, Guinea Equatorial. Now, another way we have to remember all those países would be in alphabetical order, okay? We start with A. Ah. Do we have any A? Ah? Si, sí, we have Argentina, uno. Then we go to B. 
And for letter B, we have Bolivia. After B comes C. For C, we have Costa Rica, Colombia, Chile, y Cuba. We move on to D. For letter D, cero. Then we go to letter E. España, El Salvador, Ecuador. We have tres. After E, we go to F. We don't have any Fs. Cero. After F, we go to G. And for G, we have dos. Guatemala, Guinea, Equatorial. After G, H. There's uno with H. Honduras, even though we don't pronounce it because the H is silent, uh, we still write it there. So, una H. After H, we have E, cero. We have J, cero. We have K, cero. We have L, cero. We have N, uno, México. Then we have N, uno. Nicaragua. After N, we have Ñ. No Ñs. Cero. O. No O. Cero. And then we have P. P, we have cuatro. We have Panama. Puerto Rico y Perú. Cuatro. After R we have Q. No. We have R. For R we have República Dominicana. After R we have S. No S. T, no, T, cero. U, uno. Uruguay. Okay. Then we have V, Venezuela, uno. And that's it. W, cero, W, o, W. X, cero. Y, cero. And last, Z, cero. Total, we have 21. We review how to learn the 21 países with the area where they are from. We did it by alphabetical order. I have one more. And that is una canción song. This time though, I'm going to play the song for you guys. Let's listen to the song. Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panamá. Cuba, República Dominicana, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Perú, Chile, Bolivia, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, ay, ay, España, Guinea, Ecuatoria. 
Son los 21 países Donde hablan español Más de 500 millones de personas Como tú y como yo Como tú y como yo Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panamá, Cuba, República Dominicana, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Perú, Chile, Bolivia, Argentina, Los 21 países donde hablan español, más de 500 millones de personas, como tú y como yo, como tú y como yo. trying to see the different areas and then alphabetically or the song. If you can remember them all, that would be great. But if you remember some, that's good too, okay? And now we go to the very last part of our lección. And it's the saying in Espanol. This saying we use for little kids when they get hurt and they say, oh, I'm bleeding, I got hurt. Then we go over to them and we say, sana, sana, colita de rana. Si no sanas hoy, sanarás mañana. Sana, sana means heal, heal. Colita de rana, little frog tail. Si no sanas hoy, if you do not heal today, sanarás mañana, you will heal tomorrow. And then, the, the fun thing to do with this is say it kind of fast. Sana, sana, colita de rana, si no sanas hoy, sanarás mañana. And I leave you with this saying and I challenge you to see how fast you can say it. Okay, this is the end almost. We talked about the most spoken languages in the world. We talked about the 21 países where they speak Espanol and some of the ways, different ways on how to remember them all. And last, the saying. That's it. Adios.